If your answer to the questions is a yes, then you have landed to the correct video. Hello everyone, welcome to JKC Tutorials. In this video, we shall cover how to run test and read tests on Jenkins without creating a suit XML file. The first is when you want to run a single test case. Next is when you want to run multiple tests that do not belong to the same package. Lastly, when you want to run test cases belonging to specific groups. I have created some test scripts which are present in these three packages. These are UI validation scripts. You can specify your Selenium Hub URL. I am using Selenoid for my test case. Or you can execute these on your respective browser drivers as well. The code is present on GitHub and you can find its link in the description of this video. If you want to understand what Selenoid is and how can we run these scripts on Selenoid, you may refer to my Selenoid playlist on my channel. We are using Gradle as our build tool. Test to run is the parameter name where we can pass our test script's name using comma separated values. We are internally calling filter under the test scope to achieve this. When we develop a new script in an existing suit, for example, in my UI test packet, sample test.ff is my new test, and this is my new method which I have written. Now, in order to only run this, I have to provide the path to this test method. I have Jenkins configured and this is the path to my test method here. When I run this, only this particular script should run. Our build has been completed and we can check the results in test ng results. Only one test has run from the UI test package and this is the method which we have passed as a parameter. Next case is when we want to run the tests which are present in different packages. So, for instance, we'll run tests which are present in the UI test package and the Chrome test package. So, a total three tests should run. And this we can provide by giving comma separated value. Our build has been completed. And we can see total tests run are 3. We will confirm it with the test ng results here. Yes, so 2 tests from the UI test package and 1 test from the Chrome test package was run. And our last case is when we want to run the scripts across packages that match specific group. So I have created a test case here, Chrome test with group that has a group here, Crow. We will only specify the group name in our parameters here, only that particular script should run now. The build has been completed and we can see in the test ng results, only that particular script was run. This happened because in build.gradle we had provided groups as include groups. So it only picked up that particular group and ran the test. That's all I had for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy learning.